this is what I want to talk about the most um, tonight in terms of like a little side aside. We, we have the biggest uh, deficit between an underdog and a favorite since Holly Holm beat Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Shauna Dob- Dobson. I'm going to pull it up right here because I have it right here. I pulled it up exactly for this purpose. Shauna Dobson was a plus 800 underdog. And her opponent, um, Maria Agapova, was a minus 1250 favorite. She was on a three fight finishing streak. Dobson was three and four on a three fight losing streak. And, and it's literally insane. It's it's I, the craziest thing that could have ever happened. I didn't know I didn't know the statistics like that. I'm pretty sure I heard them like somebody said something about it, what like the commentators or something. But I when I saw the record, I was like, that's crazy that she's three and four in fighting in the UFC. I know. I I think that's just because women's MMA still doesn't have as as at least in the UFC, it doesn't have as wide of a pool because you as wouldn't well because because there is no well way you would see something like that in a in a men's division. You would never see a, a person that's got a losing record competing in in, in, in the men's division of the UFC. And, as, along with the COVID and everything going on, it's hard to get everybody along, and yeah. with it being such a small pool and all of the visa and health issues, it's it's even getting smaller. Yeah, and so you had Agapova who is another killer from Kazakhstan. She's a two-time boxing champion. She came out hot in the first round, and she, she laid it on. I'm talking she poured hot lead on Dobson, man. Like, she, she just went to town. Uh, she went to town. She went to the grocery store. She went to the hotel. She fucked your mom. She, <laughs> she, went, she, went to, she went all over the world on Dobson and was crushing her. And then Dobson, obviously, is, she got, like, a good takedown in round one. I think that's how she kind of finished out the round. But but Agapova got right back up to her feet. But then as soon as the second round started, man, something happened. Something changed. <laughs> something happened. Something Agap- happened, man. Something happened. She was coming. She went for her soul. She came. She came. She came. She came. She went. She saw. She conquered. She got out of there. Four and four. She's back on it. The body snatchers literally came down and replaced Agapova with <laughs> with a fucking embryo or something, man. She fucking little plant pod seed. It was not the same Agapova no, from round like, one. She but went from standing in one position to being everywhere. Yeah, exactly. But it made sense because the Dominic Cruz, I fucking love Dominic Cruz as a commentary, man, because he, he introduced a phrase to me that I had not heard before called a, an adrenaline dump. Now, I've probably heard it before, but it, it did not have as much impact as it did in this fight. And I will never forget it again because of this. So she must have expended so much energy in round number one, going for that finish, throwing as many strikes as she did, that by the time the second round had started, she had lost it. She had lost any ounce of power, energy, and veracity that there was that she had to offer. And I think that that I think in combination with that, and the fact that something had happened in, in the second round to also create the the reverse positions for Dobson to get on top, as you can see on screen here. Um, I think because because remember, Agapova was on top. She was she was on on top of Dobson, raining down strikes. And here's what I think happened. I don't have footage of it, but here's what I saw taking place. Agapova fell, and she fell on Dobson's elbow. I'm talking chin right on the elbow. And so I think it was a combination of her adrenaline dump and that elbow that caused the tides to turn, Dobson to reverse the position and rain down what you can see right here on screen was just punishment. Punishment. And then Agapova, who who literally just couldn't 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 tell where she was. And you had and then I loved it. You had Dobson 
running around the octagon after that in the, in the post interviews, just screaming underdog, underdog, Wolverines. Oh, it was great. Oh, it was great. And I, I, boy, I tell you what, if you had just bet $50 on Dobson, man, you would be making fucking bank. I'm going to start betting on these fights now. I don't care. <laughs> whatever the craziest, whatever the underdog is, let's make some money on the side, you know? Man, it was just it was just nuts, dude. I've, I've never seen – that is the biggest upset I have ever fucking seen. And I've seen upsets before. We've seen underdogs before. We watched the Contender Series this past Tuesday, and the co- the older Kosi, Orion Kosi, was the underdog in that fight, and he came back and won in the third. Um, but this is probably the biggest numbers wise underdog I've ever seen. Not just numbers, uh, we're talking skill level. Dobson, don't get me wrong, Dobson's great, but she was not on the same striking level as Agapova. Like I said, two time boxing champion. Um, but she, but Dobson does have a wrestling pedigree, and that seemed to give her some uh, amount of advantage into the fight. But I tell you, man, like I just. We were talking about Trevin Jones and how he came back earlier in the fight. Very this, simple. this is what dreams are made of. <laughs> this right here is what dreams are made of. It's what I was. It was what I was talking about. All these people that are on the undercards usually are getting main event spots. It's just whoever is there to sign their name. Crazy man. And that's how you get to places: is being in the right spot when an opportunity arises. I mean that 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 literally is going to launch her into the stratosphere. That's going to put that's not not necessarily saying that that's going to give her title fights or anything cuz I don't think that's what's going to happen, but that's but your definitely your name is out there on a main event spot or a yep. main event card. Yep, your name is out there. You've got a great you just like I said, it's like when Holly Holm beat Ronda Rousey. Like people are going to know who you are now. You just you just beat one of the greatest odds of all time. I just can't believe it, man. I just, I just can't believe it. But great, great for her, and I can't wait to see more from her. So 